What is up, Cornucopius Universe? I am your host, Jake, and I'm here to bring you guys another Kopi Cafe recap over Kopi Cafe number 95. Stay with me. Josh shows us the file nodes rewards calculator and it is pretty epic. Now what we need to remember is for the first year there's going to be 26 million Kopi tokens set aside and this calculator gives you guys a rough estimate of what your rewards can look like. As always these are subject to change daily. Some of the things that we're going to see on this calculator are the amount of nodes sold, the amount of nodes that you hold, the amount of active nodes, registered nodes. We're also going to see the rewards for you and the rewards for your node pool operators. It is important to remember that once you get your node, you need to register it ASAP. There will be a small window, and if you are within that window, you will be able to receive full rewards. But remember that it is only claimable at the end of the period. So if you sell your NFT, those rewards go bye-bye. The automated builds are complete and the team is now currently using them. Every time the team does a new release or a new build, which is oftentimes about once a month, somebody has to manually go through and start building them. This is going to cut down on the time and make it more efficient to build out a map by having it automated to start itself. A cool little thing they built into that is once the build is complete, a little message is going to pop up into Discord saying that the build is complete. Coming soon is the land rewards deck and it's about to be published. Currently the entire team has actually signed off on the contents and all the team is waiting on is for the marketing and branding so it can be released according to Cornucopius's image and liking. Within this deck release, we plan to see things such as how does rarity impact your land and how do landowners collect rewards. Now in Solus one through three, there are going to be 8,000 land plots. Each one of these is going to be hand placed. Now that is freaking incredible. The special guest for this week is the team member, Catherine. She's been on the team for roughly four months and has amazing background within development. One such thing she was working on was a Disney short film before she came to Cornucopia. So high accolades. Being an environmental artist, she comes on the show to talk about what she's developing and what she's working on within the maps, specifically what she's adding to Solus. Something she goes over is the process of what it takes to create some of the landforms within Solace. Things such as how these do take hand placement and hand creation and hand design, and that's why they look so incredibly epic. She also gave us some insight into some of the landforms, such as the sinkholes and waterfalls, and telling us the places that we have to go out and find that she calls points of interest, so you can go there and do fishing, and also some surprises are going to be there. Another thing I'm also super excited about is all the extra details she's also helping add. So some of the pictures we saw extra roots and moss and pictures of fog, things that aren't normally present in a lot of games that are now heavy details within these games. Last big leak that we're given is Josh and Rob go over the node reward dashboard that they're currently developing. Now this is not set in stone. This is a development, but man, it's really cool to see what they're looking at. Some of the aspects that we're going to see are status of nodes, registered nodes, total nodes, copy node reward balance, and past claim rewards. Giving you guys a heads up, the team is planning on pausing the node sale for a short while. I do not know the exact dates, but the reason behind this is they want to be able to get out the nodes to you and I, and they want to be able to test those and give rewards. Now, they will open up the node sale later, so if you have not gotten yours, make sure you guys go and pick yours up so you don't miss out on those initial rewards. The last little tidbit I'm going to leave you guys with is what to expect with Kopi Cafe going forward. The team has decided they are going to start having many more external speakers as well as team members on Kopi Cafe. So this is exciting. You guys get to meet and hear from new and more people, and we can watch this Cornucopius community that we know and love grow. So if you want to keep up to date with all things Cornucopius, go ahead and subscribe to this channel, follow Cornucopius on X, and follow Cornucopius on Discord. That way, you never miss a beat. That is going to wrap up this episode of Cornucopius Universe, Kopi Cafe Recap over Kopi Cafe number 95. I hope you guys enjoyed this content, and I hope to see you next week. Until then, stay corny, my friend.